All right, folks, check out Arlo. He is a pastel albino something 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 leopard gecko. Sure is pretty. He's real. He's pink and white, pretty much. He's like a. I don't know what you would call it exactly. Albino. They call it a raptor. It's like a albino with red eyes or something. But that's him. And there's some crickets in there. That white stuff is calcium powder from a cricket. That cricket right there is still moving. You got to put calcium powder on so their bones don't get too weak. Maybe he'll eat something for us. Okay, so that red little ground in there, it's hard to see just how darn cute he actually is. But there he is. Little bitty sucker right now. He'll get like 10 inches long. But he's a little cutie pie. Pink and white. He's starting to get a little bit of yellow to him, but we he was very, very different from all the rest in the cages. So he's a little pink and white little sucker. Every time he touches a new surface, he always licks it. So every time he goes to a different part of your body or something, he always gives it a little lick first, but raining right now so we're not fishing yet but I'm about to it's gonna stop raining about 11 we're gonna try to be a wolf teaver boat ramp about that time and then we're gonna catch us some big old bass so that's the plan for today <clears throat> what's going on we are out here now it finally stopped raining still drizzling a little but it pretty much stopped raining it should be done until about Sunday but we're out here now already caught one y'all got to meet Arlo so he's at home he's gonna be there from now on if y'all like to watch me feed him, I might show y'all that a couple more times. Let me know if y'all like that. But anyways, out here fishing now, we're going to do something real fun tomorrow. Something I've kind of always wanted to do, but never have. So tomorrow, we're going to have fun. Today, we're trying to catch some. I have uh, been fishing a little bit offshore. Not really offshore, a little bit deeper than I want to fish. So now I'm moving shallow. I just moved shallow, and I lost one, caught one, and then missed one. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to move shallow and fish the rest of the day, I guess. Just catch some two-pounders. Don't know. About 10 bites, so I'm trying to land my first fish. And it's a little bitty one back in this creek. I might have had like five or six bites, finally got one. Little one though. You hit it how you want to hit it though. So I set the hook backwards with my off hand, but that told me something. I flipped all them posts with a jig, and I came back by it with a chatterbait. And when I slowed it by with a chatterbait, I got a bite. And I had literally just fished all that with a jig. So over there biting and moving baits a lot better right now. Ooh, I lost that one though. third time down that thing and I got another bite and he crushed it I mean crushed it and I barely had him hooked I don't know what's going on maybe it's on the wrong color I don't know finally got me a decent one though Looking out here too. God, 
least. I mean, freight trained it. Absolutely crushed it in that big. We a big one, man. touched it. It was like an eight or nine pounder. Might be my biggest fish I ever caught. Ugh. I didn't lose that one, did I? God, I'm so sore about that last one, man. That's one of the biggest fish I ever lost. Got me a little eddy in here. That was about the next cast. Nice little spot. Not quite a nine pound largemouth, but nice little spot. If I catch another one this cast. Remember when I caught that giant one? I caught like a 50 pounder a couple months ago. That was like in October. Let me get y'all back straight. If you ain't seen me catch a 60 pounder, you better go back and watch that video. Yeah. <gasps> Look at how he's hooked. Barely. And I'll let him have it forever. That's a good note. I need me like five like that tomorrow. So you don't quite make up for that one I lost, but that is a daggum good one there. That's what chick is supposed to be full of. Just fat, man, and pretty. Awesome, beautiful fish. Love these things, man. I know y'all probably can't see it. But I actually, like, when he bit, I gave him a, a like, two seconds, pretty much. I went, 
and reeled the slack out and set the hook, and I still barely had them hooked in the freaking lips, man. I don't know. It's terrible. I don't know what's the deal. I get a ton of bites on it, so if I change to like a black and blue or a different trailer, I get less bites. And I, they don't seem to be hooked better either, so I don't know what's the deal. But every once in a while, you do catch a good one on it. Okay, so one thing I forgot to tell you all this morning is last Saturday I fished the CBA, not the BFL Lanier. We had a very bad day. It was actually a day I wish I could have showed y'all because it was one of those days where everything just went completely wrong. I'm not complaining. Those kind of days happen. I'm glad it happened in that small tournament and not in a big tournament. But anyways, that's what happened. We had a bunch of keeper bites, a bunch of good bites. Didn't catch any. We caught four keepers. But anyways, very bad day. So I didn't get to record because it rained almost the entire time, like poured almost the entire time. So I never got to record. I did get one fish catch, which I put right here. But other than that, I did not get anything else on camera. Had, a, had a, just a struggle of a day all day. My second stop, like 30 minutes in, I lost like a three and a half. And then from there, it just went completely terrible. But anyways, that fish I lost today is one of the biggest fish I've ever lost. It looked like it was solid over eight. I'm 100% sure it was over eight. Don't know exactly how big. It, these fish are so short and fat, it's hard to judge them. You know, they could, it could have been a 10, it could have been a nine, could have been an eight and a half. I don't know for sure, but it was a giant fish that I lost. But anyways. That water was 53 degrees, it then came up, it's got a little bit of stain to it, it then got warmer somehow, and the fish are about to start biting on chicks. So anyways, hope y'all enjoyed that. I will see y'all guys later.